This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported all the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this trailer title. Create a new composition. I will name it as trailer title. I will set time duration for this composition to 5 seconds. Let's add the background media file to the timeline. Scale it to fit the screen. For background, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the background layer. Now slightly adjust the curves, as shown. Now let's add the text. Here you can add any text of your choice. Here I will align the text to the center. I will be using Roman on seal modern font family. Reduce the tracking value. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. I will name it as text. Now let's add the paper media file to the timeline. In effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the paper media. For motion tile, increase output width and height as shown. Select mirror edge. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as texture. Select Move All Attribute into New Composition. Place it below Text Composition. For Texture, change Track Mat to Alpha Mat Text. Now select Texture and Text Composition. Pre compose them, name it as Text Texture. Now let's add the Texture Composition to the Timeline. Place it below. For Texture, change Track Mat to Luma mat text texture. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now let's set glow threshold to 100%. Glow intensity to 3. Now in effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now set sharpen amount to 50. Now select adjustment layer, text texture and texture. Pre-compose them. Name it as text style. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this composition. For below composition, press S to bring up scale. Set scale to 170%. Press T to bring up opacity. Set it to 5% Now for above text composition, in effects and preset, search for drop shadow, add it to the text composition, for shadow, set opacity to 
set distance to 15, set shadow to 20. Now let's add the other texture media file to the timeline. Scale it to fit the screen. Now for texture, using pen tool. Create mask as shown. Now for this mask. For mask 1, set it to invert. Here we will set mask feather to 500. Now set mask expansion to 100. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the texture media file. Now slightly adjust the curves. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add it to the texture media. Set sharpen amount to 100. Now change all layer to 3D. Now create a new camera. Create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at start, increase Z position value as shown. For end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easies. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at end, create keyframe for field of view. Set it to 80. Select reverse lens distortion. Now at start of the timeline, set field of view to 100. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, Search for Sharpen, add it to the Adjustment layer. Set Sharpen Amount to 15. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Curves, add it to the Adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. For noise, set amount of noise to 8%. Now let's add the particles media file to the timeline. Let's create a new solid layer. I will name it as black. Select Ellipse Tool. Double click on the Ellipse Tool to create Mask. For Mask 1, select Inverted. For Mask, set Mask Feather to 500. Set Mask Expansion to minus 150. Now let's create a new solid. This will be our frame. Now select the Rectangle tool. Double click on the Rectangle tool to create Mask. For Mask, set Mask Path. Set Unit to Percent of Source. Set Top to 10%. Set Bottom to 90%. Select Inverted. Now let's see the complete preview.
perfect, similarly you can create multiple title and create your trailer.